for the Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is the year 2019. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. And I want to say thank you for the support. You, this is the month of judgment. What is happening in the month of January? Let's look and see for the um, so we are you are going to be dealing with the eye princess, so some secrets is going to be coming out. Okay, so brace yourself, you January 2009 balance because some secrets, something you did is going to come out in the first week. In the second week, what is going to be happening? I princess is here, and it is the energy vibration that is helping you through this month of January. And the eye princess is here also, so it's a lot of healing, it's a lot of shit that is going on for you, Pisces. Okay, then we have the energy of the star in the third week, it could be the energy of um, hold on and strength. Yeah, so there's a loss, there is a loss, and you need to find strength. And um, at the end of the month, there is going to be a lot more opportunity. Okay, seven of cups. So Whatever the situation is, temperance and balance, the eye princess, the star, the energy of strength. Okay, so there's a lot going on for you, um, Pisces. Um, um, temperance is a hurt energy. The eye princess comes up in the second week. There's a loss in the third week. In the fourth week, you need to find inner strength. A seventh week, there's a lot of offers. Okay, there is a situation that you're dealing with with either a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person and uh, you need to find balance dealing with this person okay um this energy is the energy of the devil so you yourself is not because this person is not really a bad person okay um taurus virgo or capricorn people this could be your mom and you're thinking that this that you have so much burdens whatever the situation is there is so much burdens that you're carrying the loss of something and in a strength you have the energy of the five of cups that you're dealing with some regrets and this regrets have to do with a lot of offer and this is a situation where want all lose all okay now you're dealing with the, nah, the, the here is someone that you're dealing with this person is also Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and the eye princess listen to your own intuition okay so a lot of a lot of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn people. It's all about money. You have a uh, loss. You have loss. Um, the Princess of Pentacles tried to give you something, but um, and you're in the Angman state. The third, fourth week. What is going on? You're stabbed in the back by um the queen of pentacles and the princess of pentacles knight of swords comes up okay Woo. the outcomes is it's going to be okay because that's the only thing it's a karmatic situation so okay let's look at this you and you um scorpion so you scorpion what is to inspire is that in the first week you need to find Balance with the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be your mom. There is someone that is coming in that is could be your sister. So you have to find balance with your mom and your sister. Your sister, someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a friend who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, has stabbed you in the back. okay moving forward second week some of you are dealing with um, a deceptive situation and here is the energy of uh, the four of Pentacles okay now the four of Pentacles has to do with either you're holding something or you're trying to build it has to do with um, the Knight of Swords whoever this Knight of Swords this Knight of Swords you're stabbed in the back and whatever has transpired with this knight of sword but the outcomes is the ace of ones which things are going to be changing for you you have a loss and the loss has to do with a very deceptive situation that you have to deal with 
um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person very deceptive situation now you're carrying a burden and you're trying to find your way out okay now what we're seeing is that the energy of strength um, and the ten of ones the energy of strength and the ten of ones so you're dealing you're trying to find inner strength to deal with a loss you have some regrets you're trying to find inner strength to deal with a loss and you have a whole lot of regrets the energy of the seven of cups is the energy of there's so much to do but yet still you're regretting something not seeing the the, the truth of a situation and you're dealing with the knight of swords okay so whatever the situation is that is transpiring it is that you have lost faith in something now you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and you think that this person is the devil because now you have so much burdens to carry what did you do because people don't get up you can think that people is the devil but people don't just get up and hurt you there's something that you have done now some of you are dealing with it um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is a young lady between the ages of uh, between the ages of uh, uh, 18 and 45 and this person is is actually financially going to support you and help you out of a situation okay so you're thinking about going to your sister or going to a family member asking them for help now this person is and is going to stab you in your back later okay for extended reading because there's a whole lot here that you have to deal with a whole lot here a whole lot here that you have to deal with that, that that's the same I saw the same situation for someone that this whoever this young person is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn she's gonna stab you in your back okay so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring let's see what is coming out because there's a lot that is happening some of you are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra person I'm seeing you have a loss and you're carrying a lot of burden on your back and you're trying to blame someone for this and you know it's not the right person to blame for because you're blaming someone that has nothing to do with it now some of you could be in a relationship with um, an Aquarius or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you know you're thinking oh I have a loss because of this person and it has nothing to do with it okay so that is it now you have the sage of a chalice and this is the queen of cups that is going to be coming up for you the queen of cups so whoever this could be your mom that you have done something deceptive about or a stepmom or a family member a grandmother whoever this person is so, um, you know you they are going to be helping you out of a situation they are going to be helping you out of a situation and that is something okay so um wow um you know do you you want to sign it's as if you're you're ending something in your life you need to make an healing you need to heal something in your life okay there is a loss and you're blaming this loss whatever it is you're blaming this loss on the stars Virgo or Capricorn person and that's not it you you know you are having burdens and you're going through some burdensome situation it has to do with yourself okay um, you can't blame other people for um, what you're in okay you can't blame other people for what you are in and this is what is transpiring so let's see um, what is basically happening we have two energies here that is coming up and you need to choose one this is the first one this is the second one now you have number 37 hummingbird spirit be here and now you have the energy of the hummingbird spirit be here and now 
okay some of you have lost that this of where to be the horse spirit freedom is yours the horse spirit freedom is yours okay so whatever you have the omen bird and the horse spirit and this is a fire sign this is a fire sign so um you are an water sign and the zodiac is earth and in the two last weeks and here you can see this for you Pisces that in the two last weeks it's all about burdens burdens a lot of stuff that is happening freedom is yours choose to be free from a situation once and for all and then you can move forward choose to be free from a situation once and for all and then you can move forward I want to say um, for the rest of the extended reading please pick it up on on the month because we're gonna go deeper and longer to see what is happening for you guys because it's kind of a sad sad situation so I'm wishing you a wonderful month namaste welcome to on the mound and welcome to all my subscribers thank you so much let's look and see what is happening <laughs>